Hey, what's up guys? This is t here, and welcome back to another episode of playing Gemstone Legends. Now, this is actually my second recording of the same video where I'll be doing a highlight on the unit Premislav. Unfortunately, my previous video didn't have any audio, so I'm scrapping that, re-recording it, and this time hopefully it'll be a little bit better. So anyways, uh, today, right now, uh, it is um, Mid-Autumn Festival. And so uh, what I wanted to do is uh, start with one code and I'm going to put in the code, but you're not going to see it. I'll probably overlay it with the actual, um, you know, the actual re uh, reward that you'll get. But the very first code that you're going to get is going to be Mid-Autumn Festival. So you're going to type in Mid-Autumn and then you're going to type uh, underscore and then Festival. Okay, so this is the spelling here, Mid-Autumn Festival. This is a Chinese uh, celebration uh, in, in the September time frame. And if you confirm that, you'll see that I already redeemed this, but I will do an overlay of the actual reward that you get, which is going to be uh, some energy as well as a gold scroll. All right, so we get that first. We will have a second code afterwards, but let's first talk about Premislav. So Premislav is the first hero that ever got to six stars because he is just an amazing hero for when you first start out. It is an epic hero, but he is a hero that you can fuse. So if you take a look at the fusion, Guinevere is one of the heroes that you're going to want to try to work towards. And in order to get there, you're going to need to go through getting uh, premise left now if you use my code if you if you download the game and you use my code after you install the game uh, hashtag, hashtag tip on hashtag you will also get Elidor free so you're going to be one quarters already there uh, towards Guinevere and you'll want to get uh, you know fusion for Gwen uh, for premise left so you need Ermuk and then you need uh, Elijah as well as Richard and then also Uru once you get these four, you're going to get um, Premislav, and he is going to be amazing for you for the beginning. And the reason is this. He has one of the best um, skills for clearing waves and to help you farm experience. And why do I say that? Well, let's take a look at his skills. His skill will deal damage to all enemies, so an area of effect attack, perfect for wave uh, situations. He will um, inflict mana choke on all enemies, but that's not really what you use him for. You're using him for his um, area of effect. But there are plenty of heroes that have area of effect attacks, so what makes him so special? Well, the thing that makes him um, much better is that his passive ability allows him to deal his special ability whenever he takes damage. It's not just when he takes special damage. Any kind of damage that he, he takes, there's a 30% chance that he will use his uh, ability. Now at level 1, it's 20% chance, and at level 7, it's 30%. I highly recommend that you go and uh, max out the level. The difference between 20% and 30% to, uh, to actually get his skills to go is pretty significant. Now let's talk about loadouts. All right, so for your gears, you'll see that I have a Hawkeye and also a... Um, you'll see I have Hawkeye and also Life Set. You don't have to do it. Really what you want to focus on is you want to focus on his attack value, his critical rate, and then critical damage. So my critical rate is at 100%. You, you really want him, uh, all of your attackers, you want to have about 100% critical rate. 85% is okay if you can get the um, affinity bonus. And then critical damage, you want it to be higher than 100% if, if possible. And then obviously attack as the primary attribute you want to be um, as high as possible. So I gave him a life set just because I happen to have good um, attack, uh, you know, attack values on it and so i'm using it and to give him a little bit of health so he can survive a little bit longer so you can see here attack and attack uh, i did add critical rate as a glove so they can give him a hundred percent critical rating and then i have you know defense here with some focus on uh damage and then attack and then more attack so the, the whole here whole thing here is add critical rate add attack and also critical damage that's pretty much what we want to focus on all right now let's go ahead and do a quick fight so this is where he excels if you use Premislav, you first get him, you want to get him to uh, at least, you know, level 40. Try to send him to 5 stars if you can. Then you can go into Fawn Leaf Woods. If you're at 5 stars, you should be able to take him uh, to, to 5 stars and you can do something. So I'm actually going to change this out and I'm going to bring in just, you know, random uh, 4 units. Let's see if I can find 4 dark ones. I looks like I 
can. So let's go ahead and do this, all right? So I'm gonna bring in four units that I'm going to uh, to farm, and let's go into a fight. So I, the reason I, I, I went with dark is because I actually farm a different level, but at level 50, you really want to uh, try to take advantage of your farming situation. So right now, I have you know four units at level one, and then I have my premi slap in here. So what you're gonna see is he's going to get you know, he's going to be dealt damage. And the, the, this is the thing, right? When all of your units die, you basically will continuously take damage, but then his ability allows him to attack even when it's on his turn. And that is the power of Premislav. So you can see here, I was actually able to clear a whole wave really quickly on Fallen uh, Woods within 33 seconds. Now we're going to go ahead and sell this artifact because we don't need them. But the goal, but the idea here is you can see we went from level one up to level uh level five and level four here because I have two four stars and two three stars. So this is the reason why they have a different uh, rate of um, leveling up. And if you have uh, XP boost for 100% of your um, battle, you're going to gain a lot of experience. So this is, this is really, you know, what he, this is what he excels in, okay? Now, personally, I like to go into Sacred Grove because I like to, to uh, farm Floki so I can maximize, uh, level my Alton, and I can also max level Floki, and I can get lots of, um, you know, I can get lots of duplicates of him so that I could actually, um, you know, uh, use him for Ascension. Now, what I like to do is I like to go into uh, to the level, and if I can, I'll bring in the Dark units the reason for that is because at a certain level um the bot the enemies will will basically avoid dealing damage to them and they're going to attack premium staff directly that's what you want you want him to get attacked as often as possible and then he's going to deal damage back now uh i find that uh it is okay as sacred sacred go grow and then you could probably go one level higher with premium slap and now he is at level 60 so you might not be able to do sacred growth uh, with him at level 50, but definitely at Fonley Woods, uh, you'll be just fine, right? So he excels in in campaign, and so what you do is you use him, you bring your low level units, and you just keep going until you get him to level 30 or max level, whatever it is, ascend, and you just keep going, okay? This is part of the uh, something you want to do, and you're going to use him all the time, right? Now, he isn't great at single uh single unit damage and so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at rift okay and so what we're going to do is we're going to go into let's say battle 14. we're going to go into 14 we're going to bring in uh let's 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 bring some other uh, units here so that we could uh, spread out so that we could spread out the um you know the the mana a little bit and so what we'll do is uh i will bring in these two units all right so this is just so that i can get my premier slav uh to charge up a little bit quicker all right so what you want to do is you want him to be there to really take care of the crowd if you can all right and when he uses his skill he's going to be able to uh, clear the wave really quickly and then uh, you can then move on. So like the idea is you want to go faster, right? And we're actually going to go take off auto here because that, that I want to I want to use this skill. So, you, so what we're going to do is we're going to let them attack, and then we're going to see uh, you know premium slap going. Then we're going to move to the next uh, wave, and then um, you can see like we don't quite uh, take them out, but you really sort of you know can uh, reduce uh, remove a lot of their health, and then that way it helps with clearing the wave to move forward but against single uh target he's not really as great okay so we're gonna go ahead and uh activate here and then we'll go ahead and um try to clear clear this wave out and then we will um see what happens when he's going up against a single boss so like i said not great against single boss but if you can get his attack high he could he could help out right he could definitely uh be useful in a lot of situations uh so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm actually going to uh use ketra to take care of these these units now let's take a look and see how much damage uh he can do right so he, he still does okay right so he could still deal uh he could still deal good damage and he can attack you know the totems which is okay but you're really using him to clear the wave and then once he's here yes he can help out but you really still want to bring in a main damage dealer okay so with premise laugh 
he is going to be a little bit squishy compared to some of the other attackers and then so what you want to do is you do want to um you do want to uh you know protect them a little bit with a tank and also you might want to have a healer in there but the idea here is if you can uh, get units to attack him he's going to help you clear the wave that's really where i use him the most okay you can use him in all these other situations but i would say to farm xp for your units he is one of the best okay there are others you can definitely use but for me uh, that's what i think and so premise slav to me is one of your starting heroes that you're going to want to work towards you want to get him uh to five stars okay you want to get him to five stars because you want to be able to fuse Guinevere. If you go past five stars, then you're not going to be able to use him for fusion, and then you're going to have to start again. Uh, that's what I did. I actually went with a level 60, then I crafted another one so I can get fusion for Guinevere. Well worth it. I definitely enjoy using him a lot. And so, I guess to to summarize, you use your uh, premise lab to farm for XP. You use him uh, to go into campaigns, and you can use him to help in Rift as well. But then you wouldn't necessarily use him in um the raid boss for example all right now let's go ahead and redeem our second code so the second code is going to be what you eat during mid autumn festival and that is going to be moon underscore cake okay it's a really yummy dessert uh, so this is uh the two codes that i have for you for today uh, so again, I'm going to hit confirm. It's going to say it's used, but then I'll overlay it with uh, the actual uh, the actual reward. So that is going to be it for me for, for today, guys. Premise Slav, you know, it's, it's easy to, he's easy to use. Super easy to use. Love him. Love using him. And uh, definitely you want to try and get him. And then you want to use him in your campaign as high as possible. And then you can keep farming. Okay. Keep farming. And, you, and, and I guess I'm going to read reiterate this super 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 important when you do farming the best thing to do is to put units of the same level so not what i did here because i had a bunch of uh i, I had uh, units of different levels what you really want to do is you want to do something like this okay you want to have four units same level same stars and then you just keep going until they all max level then you move on to the next one this is where premium slab is going to be uh, super helpful you can use your multi battle and everything it's going to be great okay so anyways that's going to be it for me for today guys uh thanks a lot for watching let me know what other units you like to see uh definitely premise life i knew was going to be the first one for the epic units but there's a lot of options out there and i'm going to continue to go through them anyways that's all for me thanks a lot for watching take care and i will see you in the next episode bye now